As Florida's crime rate shows promising numbers of going down, some Panhandle counties are seeing a decrease as well. Yesterday, we looked at the declining numbers in Bay County. Tonight, we see what Walton County is doing. As News 13's Peyton Lo Cicero tells us, the low crime rate there is impressive. Crime in Walton County is down. The 2017-2018 yearly report shows a 36.8% decrease. That's one of the largest decreases seen across the state and the best in the panhandle. For a county this size to have the reduction we have is really incredible. Michael Atkinson has been the Walton County Sheriff since 2008. When he first took office, his goal was to reduce the number of crimes. Nearly 10 years later, the numbers say it all. It's kind of interesting enough, our goal would have been to reduce like 5% over the course of a couple of years, not the, not the level of success I think we've had. Walton County is one of only three agencies in the nation to use a type of policing called the stratified model. It's been incredibly successful for us, and I think these are the direct results of the work of the men and women of the sheriff's office. One reason for the decrease is from the skills programs that inmates are learning, like welding, farming, reading, and writing. Atkinson says it gives them a chance at a better life after jail. That's really how we look at it, try and make demonstrable uh, changes in people's lives. But there's always room for improvement. Car burglaries and stolen guns have been a big issue this year in Walton. That's always going to be an issue for us, and so we're going to have to try to work to reduce the burglary and the uh, thefts. Sheriff Atkinson says next year he hopes to reduce the crime rate even more and keep citizens from returning to jail. Reporting in Walton County, I'm Peyton Lo Cicero, News 13.